a pleasant day dear students this is Arjun and I welcome you to the understanding culture society and politics we are on the first chapter of our lesson in YASESP so I would like to present to you the scope of anthropology, anthropology sociology and political science which are the major themes or sciences uh, studied under social sciences in lesson one there's a need for studying social and cultural and political behavior through science ancient people primarily concern was to work for their own survival we know that during stone ages the desire and the work to survive was the basis for the establishment of society they learned to ask questions in the process and this was later also seen in the civilizations, especially in Greek civilizations, which we all know happened also when they first practice uh, philosophy. In your life, what questions you want to ask about society, culture, and people? What is the nature of life? What is the cause of conflict in this world? Why do inequalities exist? Why are laws instituted? What must be done to ensure peace and safety in the community? And right now, why you seem to be so busy? I guess these are the questions that we ask usually. These are the questions that we want also answers so that we'll be able to understand our existence in, our, in the society. Lesson 1 aims to train you to think about simple things scientifically and discover at the end of the lesson that thinking scientifically pays off as opposed to what we commonly use common sense it's okay to have common sense but it's also very okay it's also better to to think based on on process and scientific method maurice crossland explains that science began with a common sense interpretation of the world around us which later became sophisticated Elmer Barnes asserts that uh, during Industrial Revolution produced the social sciences. Industrial Revolution broke down the foundations of the previous social systems. Disintegrating social problems and confusion. Sociology and other social sciences came into being because of these occurrences and events. You can see right now the different flags of Latin American countries which is South America I would like to present the different culture and practices of each country in Japan that their discipline and their sense of time and respect for elders and in China uh, this kind of belief as well is very common we live in a complex diverse world with countless social ethnic groups accounting for a myriad of systems of ideas norms values attitudes and beliefs all acquired through various means of education and instruction these things comprise culture and are the focus of science of anthropology so culture and anthropology go together Anthropology is derived from the Greek words anthropos means human and logos means study. The world is a host to either a diverse array of societies and cultures and by systematically studying this, we will be able to understand the totality of social and cultural life and human experience from the dawn of time up to the present. This is our world. This is the place where we live in, the world of the human beings. Anthropology through the years, ancient belief, conflicts between the Greeks and the Persian Empire remarked that Greece was the dominant culture of the West. We all know that during uh, Greek civilization, while Persia was the dominant culture of the East, concepts such as this of differences in culture later become central to anthropology. 
And now, modern times, it traced back to Europe in the early modern period during the Age of Discovery or the Renaissance time. Interaction between interactions between Europeans and the people in newly discovered lands. This led to the desire to study human culture in its various forms. Because they went to a lot of places in the world already and they were Want to, uh, they wanted to study the different cultures of the world. Franz Boas became the father of American anthropology, belief method in physics that can be applied in measuring culture and human behavior as well. Alfred Gruber, American anthropologist who became prominent in studying ancestral domain of the American Indian tribes. Lewis Henry Morgan both studied American Indian tribes and championing indigenous rights and cultural preservation. Ruth Benedict, specialist in anthropology and folklore. She authored Patterns of Culture. Margaret Mead, she studied the sexual practices among native populations in the United States. Bronislaw Malinowski, done research in anthropology through observation, which is the central ethnographic approach. How is anthropology studied? It's studied, there are studies like interviews, these are essential uh, tools used by anthropologists and other social scientists to understand the culture they are studying and obtain valuable information. Some anthropologists even live years within a certain group or community just to get information about the, the practices and culture of the people. Anthropologists also study through analyzing the culture through per participant observation, as I said, the, the uh, immersed with, with the people, with the community, which is done by living with the group and participating in their culture. While taking notes, ethnologists employ this method. This, they use their notes to come up with a comprehensive account of the culture commonly referred as ethnography. And then this is another way of studying, discovering um, culture and practices and the type of people, uh, the science or the study of uh, remains, human remains and materials. It is called archaeology, the study of the ancient and recent human past through material remains. Archaeologists may study the million-year-old fossils in our earliest human ancestors in Africa, or they might study 20th century buildings in present day, like New York City, Archaeology analyzes the physical remains of the past in pursuit of a broad and comprehensive understanding of human culture. Anthropological linguistics, this is very important. It deals with the underlying principles concerning the formation and evolution of language. Also studies how language affects culture and how culture influences the dynamism of language. Because this is uh, the means of uh, communication and uh, handing over the practices of people before. Cultural anthropology addresses broad questions about what it means to be human in contemporary societies and culture and cultures as well as those of the, the recent past. Cultural anthropologists systematically explore topics such as technology and material culture social organization, economies, political and legal systems, language, ideologies and religions, health and illness, and social change. This is one of the important aspects of anthropology, the cultural aspect, the cultural evolution. This ends our first part of our studying anthropology. I will continue the next part on the next video. Thank you so much for listening.